Welcome back to Cap Review. So what does a debt ceiling deal mean for everyday people? Well, the implications could be far and wide, but not necessarily immediate. TC News Now Consumer Reporter Ben Dennis joins us. Thank you so much for being here. So you actually talked to a financial planner who says that America's financial standing could really be at risk. That's right. There are a lot of elements at play here, Tess Mead. The battle over the raising debt ceiling isn't just about politics in D.C. Jobs are on the line. Revenue to the U.S. and problems could persist far down the road. Just think of your credit score. You work hard to increase it by paying bills on time. Also, you try to avoid overdrafting your de debit accounts to avoid fees. Well, the U.S. government also needs to raise the debt limit to not immediately hurt its financial ranking across the world. But at home, consumer benefits could even be targeted if a deal isn't reached, according to analysts and one financial expert that I had spoke with. Now, the National Committee to Preserve Social Security and Medicare argues Social Security benefits would be disrupted, meaning retirees might not get the money they need for everyday expenses on time. Questions also surround the timeliness for federal food and housing benefits and global confidence in the U.S. for business that may weaken and interest rates to borrow money could increase. Part of the reason that our currency is so strong is it because it is the reserve currency of the planet. That confidence has come in that we've paid our debts. Most things don't matter as long as you have a roof over your head and food in your stomach. But long term, when you're planning for your family's health and wealth, that's the bigger deal. And that's what gets imposed if the United States government reneges on their own debt. And we will be sure to monitor these negotiations between Capitol Hill and the White House on air and online as the drama continues to prolong over the debt ceiling debate.